On today's show, we have the Virgin of the Eternal Bloom wood icon, a Divine Mercy mosaic plaque, a St. Benedict crucifix, and more here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello, and thank you for joining us here on EWTN Religious Catalog. I'm Ryan Penny, and today we'll be talking about holy reminders related to Easter, which is inching closer and closer. The Lenten season is long and sometimes uncomfortable, depending on what your Lenten penances are. In one of her shows about Lent, Mother Angelica said, Lent is a special time during the year when you get special graces. You get double the grace, double the mercy, double everything during Lent because it's preparation for the Holy Days, Holy Week. And the reason the church gives those special graces is because we have the privilege of thinking and meditating on the Passion. So during this season, even though it's hard, even though many of us have lots of vices to overcome, let's do it cheerfully because there is so much good that can come from our sufferings and because we as Christians hope in the resurrection. An age-old symbol of the resurrection is the egg. So we'll start off today with the Virgin of the Eternal Bloom wood egg icon. The ornate wood egg features an image of the Virgin of the Eternal Bloom with decorative gold accents. In the image, Mary holds a spray of three lilies symbolizing both her eternal purity and the Holy Trinity. The child Jesus sits comfortably on her knee with a globe in his lap, representing his sovereignty over the world. The egg measures approximately four inches high and four and a half inches with the included stand. Next is the Madonna and Child Icon Wood Egg. This solid wood egg has a dark brown stained finish with a decoupage image of the Virgin and Child under the title of Virgin Seeker of the Perished, on the front surrounded by decorative gold detailing. Because each egg is individually handmade, the gold detailing on each egg may vary slightly. This egg measures five and a half inches high and comes with a three inch high wooden base. If you plan to decorate your own eggs this year, here are the Easter icon stickers. You can spruce up your homemade eggs with these Easter Pascha stickers or use them on a family Easter candle to create beautiful holy reminders at Easter or all through the year. This set includes five sheets of colorful icons and silver angels, crosses, stars, and flowers that are easy to peel and stick. This is an easy way to keep Jesus at the focal point. The reason for the season, I guess you could say. We also have egg wraps with geometric and floral designs. This is Easter for the whole family. This set includes seven plastic wraps with striking traditional Ukrainian geometric and floral designs for decorating Easter eggs. It's very easy to get these onto your eggs. All you have to do, first step, is boil the eggs and let them cool. And next, cut the egg wrapper and then slip the egg into the wrapper. And finally, you can place the egg on a spoon and dip it into boiling water until it shrinks around the egg, which takes about three seconds. And then, enjoy your beautifully decorated Easter eggs. We have other egg wraps on our website, including ones depicting Bible scenes and icons. These are seasonal items that tend to go quickly, so get what you want now before they sell out. Here's a book that would make a great addition to your kids' Easter baskets. It's The Thief Who Stole Heaven. Just in time for the Lent and Easter season comes The Thief Who Stole Heaven, the follow-up story to New York Times, USA Today, and Amazon chart topper, The Spider Who Saved Christmas. Best-selling author and broadcaster Raymond Arroyo provides readers with yet another cinematic adventurous holiday story based on ancient legends filled with deeper themes. The Thief Who Stole Heaven introduces audiences to the largely hidden character 
of the Good Thief. Bridging the gap between Christmas and Easter, this unique story brings to life a compelling redemption story that is destined to be treasured and revisited year after year. Check out our children tab on EWTNRC.com for more Easter basket gift ideas. And here's a great devotional you'll be able to use year after year. It's In Conversation with God, Volume 2, Lent and Easter by Francis Fernandez. It offers the daily readings, writings from the saints, and meditations to enrich your Lent and Easter seasons. Each day's meditation is divided into three parts and is five to six pages long. It has a soft vinyl cover and measures four by six inches, meaning it's a perfect size to carry with you to mass or adoration. This is part of a larger collection called In Conversation with God, seven volume set. This full collection of In Conversation with God offers daily readings, saint quotes, and meditations for every season of the year, Advent and Christmas, Lent and Eastertide, ordinary time, and special feasts. Each volume has a soft vinyl cover, and the set includes a slipcase to keep everything together. It's a great gift idea for a loved one or a treat for yourself as you grow in desire to love God and to be attuned to His will for your life. As you're striving to grow closer to our Lord this Lent, I hope you can spend more time in Eucharistic adoration. There's a surefire way to build a relationship with Jesus and spend time with Him face to face. You can bring everything you need to adoration in this Resurrection Tapestry Tablet slash Bible Case. This gorgeous blue tapestry tablet slash Bible case features an image of an icon of the resurrection in the middle with each of the four gospel writers in the corners, St. Matthew, St. Mark, St. Luke, and St. John. The same image is shown on both sides. And the inside is lined with nylon and has a plastic zipper with a nylon cord handle. It's made in Turkey and measures seven and a half inches wide, 11 and three quarters high, and fits a Bible, tablet, or other book that measures six and one quarter inches in width, nine and a half inches in height, and one and one quarter inches depth or smaller. We also have the same size tapestry case in red. It's the Resurrection Tapestry Tablet or Bible Case. I can see this being handy for adoration in particular. You can load it up with a devotional booklet, rosary, and a prayer journal and pencil, and boom, everything you need is right here so you can spend time with Jesus. You can find these and more tapestry cases featuring Our Lady, St. Michael, or the Holy Spirit on our website, EWTNRC.com. And here is a classic film to watch this season. The Passion According to St. Luke DVD. The inspiring Easter story is brought to life in a beautiful, deeply moving, and dramatic portrayal of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Leonardo Di Filippis delivers an honest, dramatic performance of these events taken directly from the Gospel of Luke, drawing his audience into a deep understanding of the immensity of God's love for his children. De Philippus uses few props, allowing the text and the majestic musical score to speak straight to the heart. The runtime is 60 minutes. Here's a clip from the program. Men will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the earth. The powers in the heavens will be shaken. After that, Men will see the Son of Man coming on a cloud with great power and glory. When these things begin to happen, stand erect and hold your heads high, for your deliverance is near at hand. World Down Syndrome Day is on March 21st. It's a global day to build awareness of Trisomy 21 the genetic condition which causes varying degrees of intellectual and physical disabilities, as well as associated medical issues. If you have a family member or friend who has Down syndrome, 
you know just how special they are, how much of a gift they are, and how much of a joy they are. Did you know that the scientist who discovered the cause of Down syndrome is on the path to sainthood? That's right. And you can learn about Venerable Jerome Lejeune in this book, Jerome Lejeune, A Man of Science and Conscience. By Ah Dugas, a pioneer of modern genetics, Dr. Jerome Lejeune discovered the chromosomal defect that causes Down syndrome. International acclaim followed, but more important to this doctor, dazzled by the beauty of every human life, was improving the care of his patients with this abnormality. As a man of both science and conscience, he advocated for their dignity, and he suffered attacks on his reputation as a result. To write this definitive biography, Ah Dugas, the postulator for his cause, spent 11 years consulting thousands of archives. She met at length with Lejeune's wife and relatives, families of his patients, and his French and foreign collaborators. She invites us to discover the true and untold portrait of Jerome Lejeune, the brilliant scientist close to the great figures of this world, like Pope St. John Paul II, devoted husband and father, and ardent defender of the little ones. Also on the path to sainthood is Blessed Father Michael McGivney, the founder of the Knights of Columbus. The miracle which paved the way for his beatification involved a little boy with Down syndrome. The boy was diagnosed with fetal hydrops in utero and was given a 0% chance of surviving. His family prayed for a miracle through the intercession of Father McGivney, and the condition miraculously disappeared. His story is highlighted in the They Might Be Saints Father Michael McGivney DVD. The miracle hunter Michael O'Neill embarks on another quest to discover the merits of Americans who might one day be canonized. In this episode, he's on the trail of America's first parish priest to be beatified, Father Michael McGivney. O'Neill uncovers McGivney's life and legacy as founder of the largest fraternal Catholic organization in the world, the Knights of Columbus. He then looks deeper into the miraculous cure of Michael Mikey McGivney's shackle from fetal hydrops that led to McGivney's beatification in Connecticut in 2020. The runtime is 30 minutes and is closed captioned. Father McGivney had a wonderful vision that really was ahead of his time. He founded the Knights on those principles of charity, unity, fraternity. He encompassed so much of the Christian life in so many ways. When someone is one of our own, I think there's a special sense about that. We're so overjoyed to be following such a model priest. His legacy is going to live on in the Archdiocese of Hartford and beyond. If you follow the traditional calendar, you'll see that St. Benedict's Feast Day is this week on March 21st, the day of his death. St. Benedict is the father of Western monasticism and a powerful saint to invoke for protection against evil. Every Catholic should have a St. Benedict crucifix or medal in their home. I firmly believe it. If you don't have one yet, I'll help you out with that. Here is the St. Benedict crucifix. In the mid-1600s, devotion spread to the cross of St. Benedict, and a medal was made to honor him as he was considered a secure defense against the tricks of Satan. The honor of being featured on the medal was conferred to him because of the miracles of the cross in his hands. This detailed crucifix is hand-painted in Colombia and measures 12 and a half inches wide and 19 and a half inches high and is made of a resin mix. It features the St. Benedict medal and a white INRI sign on the top of the cross. In addition to having a St. Benedict crucifix in your home, you can also wear the medals. When properly blessed, they wield great spiritual protection. I have two similar bracelets to show you. First is the St. Benedict medal corded bracelet. It consists of 10 tiny St. Benedict Jubilee medals on a braided black cord bracelet. It measures two and a half inches in diameter and adjusts up to four inches in diameter. You can see here how the bracelet pulls open and slides 
to fit nicely on your wrist. I also have the St. Benedict metal corded bracelet that comes in red, which also consists of 10 tiny St. Benedict Jubilee medals. It measures two and a half inches in diameter and adjusts up to four inches in diameter. Again, when properly blessed by a priest, the Medal of St. Benedict is a very powerful sacramental with exercising properties. The exorcism is written right on it. Surrounding the entire back of the medal are the initials to the words of the exorcism, V-R-S-N-S-M-V-S-M-Q-L-I-V-B, which in English translates to, Be gone, Satan. Do not suggest to me thy vanities. Evil are the things thou profferest. Drink thou thy own poison. You'll see the initials for this prayer on all St. Benedict Jubilee medals and at EWTNRC.com. You'll see a wide selection of St. Benedict holy reminders to help your family. And if you're not wearing a brown scapular, you should begin wearing it. Our Lady promises that whoever wears this scapular with devotion will not suffer eternal fire. True devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary consists in three things, veneration, confidence, and love. By wearing the scapular, we can tell Mary every moment of the day that we venerate her, love her, and trust in her protection. Here is the brown corded scapular of Mount Carmel with medals. The traditional pieces of the brown scapular measuring one and three quarter inches by two and one quarter inches are sewn on washable brown wool and come on two 17 inch brown cords. This scapular also features an attached small crucifix and St. Benedict medal. It comes packaged with a brief explanation of the scapular of Mount Carmel and the Jubilee Medal of St. Benedict. And it is also available with the white cord under item number SL34W. Today I also have the St. Benedict Rosary with brown marbled beads. Beautiful and affordable, this full-sized rosary consists of seven millimeter marbleized brown beads on a bronze colored cord with the bronzed St. Benedict Jubilee medal centerpiece and matching one and a half inch St. Benedict crucifix. The rosary measures 14 inches when laid flat. The church gives us so many beautiful devotions, all for the sake of helping us grow in love of God to spend eternity in heaven. If you want to share the love, you can purchase these rosaries in packs of 10 at a discount. It's an affordable way to encourage devotion to the Holy Rosary. We have so many affordable items on our site. Great to have them on hand to give away. Prayer cards, miraculous medals, devotional booklets, or rosaries. Even if you think it's only a small gesture, you never know how the Holy Spirit might be working. You might be the vehicle through which someone receives a heavenly inspiration or consolation. We're just about a month away from Divine Mercy Sunday, which is always the second Sunday of Easter. Jesus himself told St. Faustina Kowalska, I want the image solemnly blessed on the first Sunday after Easter and I want it to be venerated publicly so that every soul may know about it. Jesus wishes to bestow great graces upon you. Prepare to receive those graces with 33 days to merciful love, a do-it-yourself retreat in preparation for consecration to divine mercy. Using the same 33-day preparation format that's been common in Marian consecrations, 33 days to merciful love journeys with St. Therese of Lisieux, one of the most beloved saints of modern times, and concludes with the consecration to divine mercy. So whether you want to deepen your love of divine mercy or have a devotion to St. Therese, this is an ideal book for you. Jesus also said, I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish in the diary of St. Faustina, number 47 be sure you have an image in your home. Here is the Divine Mercy arched plaque. This Italian style arched plaque features the Divine Mercy with the blood and water gushing from his heart as a font of mercy for us. It measures five and one quarter inches high 
and can be displayed on a wall with the keyhole on the back or with the stand that comes with it. We also have the Divine Mercy mosaic plaque. This beautiful image of the Divine Mercy is printed on gold foil with a mosaic background and mounted on a gold painted board with a metal hook for hanging. On the back of the plaque is the Chaplet of Divine Mercy along with instructions for recitation. The gold really catches the light on this plaque and what a great way to remember the infinite mercy that our Lord has for us. It measures approximately six inches high and four inches wide. If you're unfamiliar with how to pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, or if you want to share the devotion with family, friends, and fellow parishioners, here is the Chaplet of Divine Mercy Novena Laminated Pamphlet. Jesus asked that the Feast of the Divine Mercy be preceded by a Novena to the Divine Mercy, which would begin on Good Friday. He gave St. Faustina a special intention for each day of the Novena. In her diary, St. Faustina wrote that Jesus said, On each day of the Novena, you will bring to my heart a different group of souls, and you will immerse them in this ocean of my mercy. On each day you will beg my Father, on the strength of my passion, for the graces for these souls. This illustrated pamphlet contains the message, prayers, and instructions for this novena, and it's laminated for longevity. Finally today, we have the Divine Mercy Chaplet Bracelet. This unique Divine Mercy Chaplet Bracelet is made with five red and five white, eight millimeter gemstone beads, separated by seven millimeter silver spacer beads with deluxe double crystal caps. It has a picture medal of Jesus with the mercy rays on one side and St. Faustina on the reverse. This stretch bracelet measures three inches in diameter. We have a vast array of divine mercy items on our website. And please visit us at EWTNRC.com or call and ask our customer service reps for help. The whole Lenten season is one of mercy, isn't it? As we approach Holy Week and our Lord's Passion, when Jesus died for us, let's contemplate His unfathomable love and mercy. Mother Angelica would frequently remind viewers, I love you and God loves you. Never forget that. He loved you enough to suffer just for you as if no one else existed. And now here's a recap of the items that we showed you today and information on how to order. The first holy reminder that we showed you today is the Virgin of the Eternal Bloom wood egg icon, which is item number 9BB for $17. The Madonna and Child icon wood egg is item number ED152 for $30. The Easter icon stickers are item number U2205 for $5. The egg wraps with geometric and floral designs is item number EW31 for $2.50. The Thief Who Stole Heaven is item number 2388 for $18.95. In Conversation with God, Volume 2, for Lent and Easter is item number 213 for $20. The seven volume set of In Conversation with God is item number 6138 for $140. The blue Resurrection Tapestry Tablet and Bible Case is item number TBC3 for $24. And the red Resurrection Tapestry Tablet and Bible Case is item number TBC2 also for $24. The Passion According to St. Luke DVD is item number PASLD for $15. The book about Jerome Lejeune is item number 4118 for $19.95. The They Might Be Saints Father Michael McGivney DVD is item number HDMM for $15. The St. Benedict Crucifix is item number 445A for 
The black St. Benedict medal corded bracelet is item number 452C for $9. And the red St. Benedict medal corded bracelet is item number 508C for $9. The brown cord scapular of Mount Carmel with the medals is item number SL34B for $8. The brown marbled bead St. Benedict Rosary is item number S1179 for $6. The pack of 10 St. Benedict Rosaries is item number 1179 for $49.95. The 33 Days to Merciful Love book is item number 3456 for $15. The Divine Mercy Arched Plaque is item number 52. One, two, three for seventeen dollars. The Divine Mercy Mosaic Plaque is item number six E one two three for nine dollars. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy Novena Laminated Pamphlet is item number N O V eight six for three dollars. The Divine Mercy Chaplet Bracelet is item number six four seven eight for ten dollars. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. Our website is safe and secure. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-854-6316. Our call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. Remember to take advantage of our free standard shipping offer on all online orders over $75 by using the promo code FREE at checkout. Here are the broadcast times for EWTN Religious Catalog. If you missed any part of this show or would like to watch it again, go to EWTNRC.com where the current show is always available. On next week's show, Tune in for even more holy reminders related to Easter as we approach the solemnity of the resurrection. That's it for another episode of EWTN Religious Catalog. I'll be back again next week. Until then, may God continue to bless you and your family. Bye now.